Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by on a dull, miserable, wet day again, just for a change. We did actually have some sunshine yesterday. Uh, yeah, once in a blue moon. Um, this is the first in a set of videos that may go on forever. I don't know. I'll see how I go. The idea is to start with a sort of pan round the grow room as has that to sort of show how it basically looks where the plants are, I mean I'll recognise them all, you might not, and um, and then film briefly every bloom I've got at that point in time. Buds and spikes don't count, actual blooms. And the only thing I'll really say about those blooms are if they are mine or if they were on the plant when I bought it. Yeah, because th there is a difference that I want to know. And the idea is to capture everything in bloom at a point in time and then repeat that probably once a month and just keep doing it and the idea will be that I'll have a record of the um, not only what was out in bloom at that time but the quality of the blooming you know so if, if there are several sets of um, several spikes out in bloom at the time I'll make sure I cover that and things like that and, and it's really for my records but I thought it might be an interesting video because in theory they can be quite short but I'll always start with a look around because it helps me remember where plants were at that time of the year and things like that so we're just starting off looking along the vanders um, they live up in the roof and um, strictly speaking I'm using water culture because every day well this time of year every day they get dunked in a bucket and left to soak and then they get hung up to dry. So apart from the fact they're not in a glass container, is, have you got any glass containers that big? No. <laughs> but it is effectively water culture. So there's, those are the big ones. Um, ah, there's another big one up there. That's the species. Then there's a couple of little seedlings. Um, a couple of other bits up in the roof there, along this side of the rack. That's where those live along this side of the rack. A lot of this is going to be backlit, but it shouldn't be too bad because it's not too bright today, so that's that bit. And then there's this crew along here that live along here. Yeah. And then there's this set up here. Um, this is where my telumnias are in spike. And I know I've just gone past a bloom, but this is the panning around bit. Um, I'm not even going to be able to film every plant because some are in a place that I can't get at. But I'll see how I go. That's where the, most of the Cattleyas live. Up there are the Nobilies and assorted things. Down here is a right mixture. So I can't say these are all of one type. Um, the Zygos in there. And then down on that bottom shelf there's assorted Phalaenopsis and some other bits and bobs. This bottom shelf are large plants, they need a double height, so I can't have a, a shelf on that second layer. And then there's this little lot here, um, there's a recently repotted Cattleya. Um, there's the back view of a couple of Dendrobiums hanging there. They're close to the glass to get the brightest light they can, but not up in the roof because I don't want them too warm. A um, couple of ones hanging down the front here. Uh, one show and it's back to us there. Um, over there, my Herco Glossum is blocking the light completely. There's another set I can't film, which is a row of Tolumnias that hang up there, and my big maxi uh, yeah, Maxillara tenuifolia. And up on that high shelf, various things. Um, there's my Brassavola. Oh, my Brassavola's open. That wasn't open yesterday. And then coming down that wall, I keep uh, keep my Neos over there and my Brancostellus glauca. Various things here, mainly small plants, because I need to be able to reach over the top and get at that bit. Otherwise, I'd be knocking stuff flying all the time. And then down through here, we've got various things. There's a few Dendrobiums, Phalaenopsis, uh, Bulbophyllums, Phalaenopsis, my two Miltoniopsis down the bottom some Cylogenies over there, <clears throat> various things on this shelf, a mixture, and up on that high shelf, higher shelf, a, a mixture of things up there, 
and then over here we've got um, this is my highlight shelf uh, <laughs> not today it's not and then up here we've got a, a double set my um, paths live along there mainly and then down here there's Mazda Valias, Restrepias and uh, that sort of thing so that's the pan round I covered everything oh, I forgot that shelf along there there's a few oddities up there um, so that's it and now I'm just going to go around each bloom that is actually in bloom and just say whether it's my bloom or not for the record so that's um, Paphiopedalum mordii and that's my bloom um, the Psychopsis is out Psychopsis Papi Papilio Alba again that's mine <coughs> that's my um, Berioda, Dendrobium Berioda, those are my blooms, a couple of kikis in a pot. Um, my Encyclia here, um, Encyclia Cordigera, and it's um, Cyan Yu, and these are not my blooms, these spikes were on the plant when I got it. This is my recently acquired Dendrobium Delicatum, which is a Kingianum type. I think actually that's a naturally occurring um, hybrid in the wild but uh, yeah those are not my blooms this little phalaenopsis is out that's not even my plant that shouldn't be included <laughs> it's my daughter's plant <laughs> whoops <coughs> oncidium twinkle yellow um, just going over but nonetheless in bloom at the moment we've got um, miltonia sunset yeah not a very good spike on that one only three blooms, but nonetheless it's in bloom. What else can I get out in this first sweep? That's um, my Nelly Isla Red Velvet. Two spikes on there, I can't claim anything for those. They were on it when I bought it. Um, this little Phalaenopsis is out down here. These are my blooms. And I'm 99.9% mm, of .9 positively ID'd this because there was one at the show that was positively named and I talked to the guy and he got it from the same place at the same time as me only he didn't lose the tag and that is um, Zeng Min Brontosaurus apparently right what else can I get at Dendrobium Harveyanum um, it's got two spikes at the moment but that one comes and goes so that will probably be in most of the videos uh, what else have we got that I can get at easily there's a Tolumnia out here and that is fantastic. Uh, what else can I get to easily? Um, this is just a no ID Catlia hybrid. These are my blooms. Two spikes, two blooms on each. That's good. Um, this Catlia has got a big long name that I'll put a pop up on. Um, this plant may not be around too much longer. Um, for an obvious reason <laughs> um, but nonetheless those are my blooms it's a spike with three blossoms on at the moment this is um, Catlia Young Min Orange and again those are my blooms but I can't lay claim to the budding of that plant because the embryo buds were there when I bought it but nonetheless they didn't blast so that's that um, I can do that nobly because I can get at it that's prima donna um, that's effectively that's its first mass blooming when that's over it will bloom on and off for some considerable time afterwards and the only other thing I can get at without starting to move plants is this one and this is Arangus fastuosa he says without turning it round yes <laughs> and <clears throat> that's a shame because I actually had four buds on that could have been a showstopper at the recent show if the four buds had made it but nonetheless my spike my two blooms two blasted and that's a shame and that's all I can get out at the moment so I'll do the rest as I go around watering oh hang on there's one up here I can get at another Tolumnia and that is a beauty that's one of my favourites and that is Oriental Pear. Stick that back up where it goes. Okay, so that's it so far and I'll add the other blooms in as I go round. I suppose I can do that one now while I'm here. That's um, Zygopetalum uh, Luisendorf. 
and that spike was already there when I got the plant um, so that's not really my spike um, but it was in bud it's bloomed and it's on record and the um, Brassavola nodosa has just literally opened two blooms today they were not open yesterday um, so they're not fully open but they are open um, these are my spikes, I say spikes at the moment, this spike has four buds, two of which are open, but it does have another spike coming on behind. Um, yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. I'll have to uh, catch the scent as the blooms come out, you know, successively, but yeah, just open today. And for this video, I think that's the last one. Um, that's the only Restrepia today that's actually got a bloom on it. And the Restrepias come and go, so they're in bloom a lot of the time, and most of them will probably be on record as being in bloom, you know, continuously. But anyway, that one has actually got a bloom open today, so that one counts, as they say. And nearly forgot this little Phalaenopsis that's out. Very, very poor blooming. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's mine. <laughs> um, it's just a no ID. Um, in better light this is an incredibly delicate colour um, but a couple of buds blasted on that I've ended up with two blooms and um, it needs to do a lot better than that but nonetheless it's out at this point in time and I can finish off with the rest of the Nobilies this is a, a, a no ID hybrid that again is, is, is in full flood at the moment this is its main time um, that is the same plant it's a piece that I broke off in a tidying up process. You can see where I just uh, cut it off of the plant because it was sticking out sideways, but it's got some blooms on. And the other Nobly hybrid, which um, some have said is Spring Dream of Pollen, and it may well be, but it's not a positive ID at the moment. And th that one's got a reasonable show on it as well. Okay, so you get the general idea. It it's just a quick look at what's in bloom at a given point in time and, and I'm going to go and mark my calendar to make sure I don't have any senior moments and I'm going to try and do this around the same date each month so that you know you get an impression of the different things that are in bloom through the seasons you know things that come and go that are often in bloom throughout the year those that only come once a year you know may only ever appear in one video and it'll give me a good record of um, the quality of the blooming on the plant you know number of buds that opened I'll always say if any blasted or anything like that and it, I think it'll be a nice record of um, what's going on as the year progresses and this I thought was quite a good time to start the process as it is right at the start of the growing season you know we've gone over the 11 hour mark now the plants are going to respond things that have been not doing much in the winter are going to start to move now and it will keep a record of blooming times um, blooming periods as well if you think about it because if something's in two consecutive videos it must have lasted at least a month so that's the idea hope you like the idea and um, these videos by definition could be quite short <laughs> depending on the time of the year and there's only like two or three things in bloom and at other times you know there'll be an awful lot more out so we'll see as we'll see how we go and it's a shame because at this point in time this has been in bloom a long time. This is this um, Maxillaria arachniteiflora. And at this point on the video, it's not actually in bloom. It's got one bud left that I can see that isn't open. And by the time the next video comes around, it will probably be over. So, uh, shame, but uh, that's how this video style has got to go. It's only those in bloom. Okay, see you next time. Leave your comments. You like the idea? And I'll put all of these videos in a separate playlist. So as the year goes on, or years go on, you know, that playlist will grow. And it will give a, vi a video record of um, the progress as I go through, as far as blooms are concerned. Okay, see you next time. Thanks for dropping by.